Hi guys, 51 Foxy. Uh, just want to do a little product review. Uh, I've just got this through post today and uh, it looks a cracking little bit of kit. This is the Yugoslavian Army Issue Mess Tin Set. Uh, it's from eBay uh, and a company called Boatsville. That's B O O T E S V I W L E. Boatsville. Uh, it's £9.99 uh, plus £1.99 postage and packing, but you can make an offer. Now, I made an offer on it and I got mine for six quid. So I thought that weren't too bad, so it's like eight quid, well, six, seven ninety-nine, including delivery. Uh, plus, it's a little experiment that I'm going to do as well today. So what you get in this kit is it comes in a nice little canvas bag. A belt loop on back. Oh, that's great to go on your belt. And that's your cook kit. And it also comes with knife, fork, spoon, tin opener on your that, and also cover with a bottle opener on your knife. And a nice little pouch that fits down side of it there look to, to go in to fit it in so your mess tin falls down to your handle you've got your main compartment there for your bowl that's your cup bit naff but it's it's all right just when you go out for a quick brew and that's your water bottle the older litre and I've tried it guys and it doesn't leak and it's a uh, solid plastic I'm not saying if you drop it it'll not leak but <laughs> it's it seems all right and then you've got your these are supposed to be issued but it's it's like a brand new one look it's not a, not a mark on it and they're quite aluminium steady and that also fits on there like that so I would think you can have food in both you know what I mean, you can cook your food in that, put some in that and just hold it in the middle and uh, eat out of both sides right now the test that I'm going to do today is I've come up with this idea which you haven't seen none on YouTube I've looked before is this is the old army hexamine cooker but what I'm going to do with it is I've got a Altoise tin I've run out of ranger bands so I've no ranger bands left and what I've done with this guys I can get in it there's two well, one and a half hexamine. Half an hexamine block will boil 250 mils of water in a crusader, what me and Brian will do and Mark and all that lot. But what I've done with this, I've put fire up at the bottom of it. Just curled it all the way around, some fire up. So that will fit inside that like so. Just nip that up a little bit so it holds it. Now that will fit on there perfect, like that. So what I thought with that, the uh, Altoids tin, that's going to be a bit of a windbreak at back. So if it's windy, it'll stop it from blowing. Plus, when you want to, you can snuff it out. So we'll just give it a whirl and see what happens. This is this is trial and error because it's first ever I just got it this morning, so I'll just give it a whirl. Just pour your meths in. Just enough to boil that. And pour his water in here. I'm not gonna do too much guys, just to show you that it to hopefully it should work. It's 
a good tight fitting lid as well on this like it's it screws right down like i say it don't leak i think it's a cracking bit of kit for that money it's it's great I'll just get me uh, striker out of my pocket which now carry on me edc every day that's good with me there to what pharaoh sent me i'll just put this old uh, small um like my fire there we go so you can see what i mean guys it's just a bit of a windbreak at back of it and with it being rectangle let's just close these sides in a bit to hold it again like so and we'll put that on and see what happens with that i'll fetch you back in a bit guys As you can see guys underneath, it does a good job, it blocks all that draft out and there's a plenty, what they call a sweet spot, it's, it's about an inch, an inch and a half I might imagine from your mess tin and it seems to work pretty well It's not very often I come up with a good idea but I think this is alright In my greenhouse today, just doing this. I've got my sister-in-law coming in a bit, so that's why I'm coming here. Right. It's uh, uh, it seems to be all right. Pretty well. So I've run out of ranger bands. We've had to use postman's elastic bands. That's what me and Brybo Mark do. We only use half an X-Mean tablet and that will boil 250 mils of water in the Crusader. So I would imagine basically the same thing with this. All you've got to do is put your X-Mean block on your uh, fire rope in your, in your Altoys tin and do exactly the same job. I'm getting a few bubbles now, look guys. So I think that's going to work out pretty well. Hopefully tomorrow... I've been tagged by Barking Badger, my good mate, uh, to do a bushcraft breakfast. So I'm going to a new wood that you haven't been in before. I've been in before, but you haven't. You've heard of Hollywood. Well, this is called Pool Wood. This is a new name for it, because for the simple reason is it's about 300 yards away from Little Sewage Works. So we're going to call it Pool Wood. Uh, uh, there's no smell to it, <laughs> so I won't go in it. So it, it's uh, it's all right, like so. We're trying the we're having a bit of bacon, bit of burgers. Try and get a little fire going. I mean, everything's wet through all that, but that'll be a little bit of a task. But a little fire going and that. So plus, I'd like to thank all my new subscribers that I've got, uh, and wish all my subscribers, well, and everybody on YouTube, a very merry Christmas and a great New Year. And let's get out there and get some camping done. We're out on this Tuesday. Me, Brybo, uh, Sandy's coming up, uh, Brummy John, and I think they call him Alcetronic, I think it is. Brybo's mate who lives not far off Brybo. So there's five of us going when I get parachute up and we have a bit of a laugh. And that's what it's all about, guys. So, as you can hear, it's just starting to boil this now. So it seems to work pretty well. Quite happy with that. Something different. Yeah, we've got a rolling boil now, guys. So, take that off there. This is going to be a bit warm, I would have thought, but. And all you've got to do with that, guys, push it down and it's shut. And that's blocked your meths off. I'm not quite messing about for I've got a glove here. Let's just get on of this bit. There you are, that's it, it's out. Obviously it's not going to be a, a tight, you know, a water tight or that. Your vessel spin out but spill out, but if it's not that much in it, it's not too bad. So I think that works pretty well. All you've got to do with X-Mean blocks is just put your half a block in in the morning, 
open your lid uh, and, and there you go, away you go, you've got your brew going in the morning and to close it all down, push your lid down and your Altoid tins fits perfect inside it so you can put that in your pocket that's not bad for me, that bring you some attack like that really <laughs> That's uh, that's about it, guys. So that check them out. That Bultsville. They don't just do just do these uh, Swiss Army cooker, uh, Swiss Army, Yugoslavian Army cookers. They do all different things. You know, bushcrafting, camping stuff, uh, military stuff, uh, army surplus, different things like that. So let me know your comments, guys. See what you think about that. It's uh, it's worth having a go. Just to get so for fire ups, not that much. It's only about I think it's only about two pounds summer. I think about £2.20 a metre, that's delivered that like so. I don't think there'll be enough uh, mess to get it to set fire again, I don't know where it will be enough. Just to burn it out. Oh, there is, look, plenty in it. And then just nip your sides up, so it holds it all in place, and back on. Cracking a little bit of kit, that for that price, I think. And it all fits together in your little, your little canvas bag, which is well made. It's not a crappy little canvas bag. It's pretty thick canvas, and uh, it's got a belt loop and all like. So it's all right. That's not bad at all. I don't think it's got some wrote inside slobber down some. But I can't read what it says. So lightweight it's it's uh it's like i say it's great just to if you're just going to rip out for a little walk and have a little brew or make pot noodles or whatever you know just warm something up in it yeah, i think it's uh i think it's pretty good for that price like i said cups a bit naffy about two swallows and it's gone like but end of the day you can always make your brew inside that do your brew in that if you wanted to but uh i'm quite chuffed with that water bottle that's a cracking water bottle that and it holds a litre so that's uh, that's very good I think for the money so that'll boil we've still got plenty of mess well there's some mess left Let me know what you think, guys. Anyhow, it's uh, uh, I think it's not a little bad idea actually. That's all fit in your pocket. You can put your cooker in everything. Your mess, but your mess wants to keep warm this time of year because it's a pain to light if it if it don't. Or you can use your exit blocks or Esbit tablets or whatever you want. I got full rolling boil again now, look, guys. So. Like I said, that just comes off there, and that hooks on there like that. So you could have, you know, both. You could have your already tipped middle, probably have your bacon or whatever in one, and then have your beans in the other one if you don't want to mix them, up, mix them up like. So I think that's all right. Right then, guys. I'll uh, see you later. Obviously, we're up at Baza on Tuesday so there'll be a lot more videos to come uh, and if I don't comment to you by the way my videos on the blink I've got to have it wiped from the beginning I've got to go restore my factory settings it's been a nightmare I downloaded some Windows update and it's totally killed my computer I can't get notes on it I can't get my movie maker on it or out so I've got a chap coming to totally wipe it clean for me I've took my photographs off of my old dogs what I used to have and things like that and uh, have it all wiped clean and start afresh so I can still comment a little bit it's now and again it works and now and again it doesn't like pretty much temperamental but there you go my own fault so that's it so yeah looking forward to Tuesday uh, I can't wait I ain't been out since last time and it's, I get withdrawal symptoms big time I can't be doing me just sat in house uh, uh, so Right guys, so we'll let this burn out and put it away. And I'll go and sit with my sister-in-law now, I can't wait for that either. Marvellous. Right guys, we'll see you later on. Don't forget, let's be careful out there. Bye for now.